the physique. A person's representation of health, looks, and performance. Though everyone has a physique, not all are created equally. Some look completely trash, some might look completely aesthetic. But the point is, physiques are not made the same. They are not created equally. So that begs the question, what physique is the best? What physique is the healthiest, performs the best in athletic movements, and just looks the best in general? Today, I'm going to rank all the physiques of a man in a tier list. Rank them on health, performance, and lastly, aesthetics. Today, we're going to be ranking all these body types on a tier list in order to determine this question. Now, starting off in F tier, I'm going to place the obese and fat physiques here. These are by far the worst physiques in terms of health, looks, and performance. Firstly, looks. A fat physique does not look good with a shirt on and without a shirt on. Does a fat person look good to you? No matter what the media tries to tell you, being fat, you're just ugly. Besides that, performance-wise, the fat person's performance is by far the worst. And it gets even worse with obesity. Because the fat and obese physiques carry an excessive amount of weight of fat, that fat's useless. It can't accelerate the body, it can't move a lot of weight, and therefore, it is dead weight. And that's why many fat people can't move well. It's because they just simply weigh too much. They have way too much fat. Health-wise, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, heart attacks, strokes, so many more. Fat physique is just not healthy. No matter what the media tries to tell you, obesity and overweight people are not healthy. Now moving on from the F tier to the D tier, I'm gonna place the two skinny physiques here. The skinny physique and the skinny fat physique. The main difference is that the skinny physique has a lack of both muscle and fat. However, the skinny fat physique has a lack of muscle, but a little bit more fat but not as much as the overweight person or obese person. Now, when speaking about the skinny and skinny fat physiques, yes, both of them are quite pretty unhealthy. However, for performance and for looks, they perform much better than a fat physique. Firstly, looks. You don't ever see a fat person bullying a skinny person. Well, maybe, but in most cases scenario, it's the skinny person bullying the fat person. Skinny people can look good with a shirt on, which is unlike fat people, which they look terrible with or without a shirt. <clears throat> However, when you remove that shirt, that skinny person or even skinny fat person won't look that good. So they're still in detail. Performance wise, they don't have that excessive amount of weight weighing them down. So they will perform better in sports and athletic movements better than fat people, which is why they're at a tier and stage above the fat physiques. However, being skinny, you have a lack of muscle. This means a lack of strength, speed, and potential amount of power you can output. And therefore, performance-wise, this skinny physique isn't at its best yet. Because of its lack of muscle and, and physical competence, skinny physique and skinny fat Bruh. physique are not attractive. And by far, the one weakness of these physiques is that it's very fragile because of lack of muscle and fat. You're literally just a skeleton. You're very weak. This makes you weak to physical damage and even environmental damage and diseases, which puts your health risk much higher than it should be. Now, moving on from D tier to C tier, I'm going to do something very controversial and place the competitive bodybuilder. The reason is, is because I have several reasons. Now on stage, a bodybuilder can look extremely well. However, when looking from surveys, especially done by women, ranking men's most attractive physiques, the bodybuilder or built physique didn't get that far. Reason is because bodybuilders are too bulky. One aspect of a attractive physique is how physically capable it is. And performance wise, bodybuilders aren't the best at this. Bodybuilders are made for the stage, but not for sports. This is more evident when Chris Bumstead stated that when he played basketball for one hour, he couldn't walk for the entire week. Reason is, is because bodybuilders like fat people are just too heavy, except instead of carrying fat around, they carry too much muscle. And this derives from one thing, steroids. We will talk about that later, but performance wise, Bodybuilders and especially competitive bodybuilders aren't the best. Their muscles aren't built for athletic movements. Rather, their muscles are just built to be as big as possible and therefore they have no performance benefit. Now health-wise, the reason I would put them in C tier is because, well again, 
they're not as healthy as they should be. Although I would still consider them more healthy than a skinny or even a fat physique because they train or exercise properly, it's because of steroids that they're ranked this low. No matter how you live, no matter how you use steroids, if you use steroids, you are unhealthy. Infertility, extreme acne, just so many more side effects of steroid use, I cannot get over the health risks of steroid use, which is why I placed the competitive bodybuilder in C tier. And moving up to B tier, I'm gonna place the recreational bodybuilder. The difference is, is because competitive bodybuilders, mostly, and I say almost all of them, use steroids. However, in recreational bodybuilders, not all of them use steroids, which can boost their health a little bit. And aesthetic wise, a recreational bodybuilder is more aesthetic than a bodybuilder. They're not too bulky and they're very lean, emphasizing that V taper. And performance wise, although their muscles are not made for, let's say, athletic movements, it's still better than their competitive bodybuilder because they don't have as much muscle mass, which doesn't weigh them down as much. However, health risk, again, lots of recreational bodybuilders who use steroids. Even worse, they'll lie about their steroids in order to get that money. But anyways, place their recreational bodybuilder here because, again, the health risks and also performance and aesthetics aren't at its peak yet. Now move on to A tier. This physique has almost everything a great body should have, except for one factor. And this is, of course, the lean physique. I had a hard time deciding if the recreational bodybuilder or lean physique would be an A tier. But overall, I picked the lean physique for a few reasons. One, health-wise. Lean physique, you're not going to use steroids. It's pretty obvious. And overall, a lean physique with a healthy amount of low body fat and moderate muscle mass is a pretty healthy body type. Performance-wise, this is where they lack. When talking about attractiveness, in a survey done by a woman, the lean physique scored second on this pie chart. The reason is because they're not too bulky and they're somewhat physically competent. But this is where the lean physique falls short, performance-wise. Again, even though lean physique is considered physically competent, again, I don't really think so. It's because the lean physique, or many people who have it, don't train properly. They don't do cardiovascular exercises or do resistance training. Therefore, performance-wise, this is where the lean physique suffers. Since their bodies aren't trained properly, their performance is going to be lower than that of even a recreational bodybuilder. However, because of its superior health and looks, I've decided to place the lean physique over the recreational bodybuilder. Now we move on to the S tier. There's only one physique that has the health, the performance, and of course, the aesthetics. And of course, I'm talking about the athletic physique. Performance-wise, this is the best physique. Because the athletic physique is properly trained, its strength to mass ratio is just OP. Whenever it's professional swimming, professional climbing, basketball, football, literally any athletic activity that you can think of, they all have the same body type, the athletic physique. Yes! When yes! talking about aesthetics, women want two things. A body that is physically competent and a V taper. And the athletic physique achieves both of them. Yes! However, yes! one major downside to health in the athletic physique is that, like bodybuilders, some athletes, especially UFC fighters, will take steroids. No! No! However, unlike bodybuilders, I'd say most athletes are pretty clean because most sports are pretty strict on drug tests. And even though PED usage in literally any way possible is just unhealthy, I cannot forget about the other health, performance, and attractive benefits of an athletic physique. Which is why this physique is the number one ranking on this tier list. And there you have it, the men's physique tier list for attractiveness, performance wise, and health wise. If you want to see more videos like this, and if you want to see why I quit bodybuilding, click on this video right here. If you want to see why bodybuilding is just unfunctional, click on the bottom video right here. Please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If I don't, I will never upload a single video no, ever no, again. So no. please subscribe.